In this video, I'm showing you how to build an AI receptionist using VAPI and NA10 uh, that can check availability of appointments and book appointments for clients. So this is where we're starting in the VAPI dashboard. Okay, so let's just jump straight into it. Um, so to begin with, we're going to want to create an assistant. Okay, we can call this, uh, we're going to do a hair salon. Uh, so blank template, create assistant, wait for that to load. Now this is where we're going to kind of configure the uh, voice agent. So for this, uh, so OpenAI is a good choice. Okay, I'm going to go for uh, GPT 4.1 Mini. I find that tends to be best. Uh, we're going to start with Assistant Speaks first because this is an inbound agent, and we're just going to write something simple. Um, let's see what this is. Yeah, fine. Hello, this is Riley. How can I help? Okay. Now this is where we're going to put the prompt. So this is basically where uh, the so VAPI is reading this prompt and the voice agent will follow this prompt where we're going to basically lay out the different instructions that we wanted to perform. Okay, um, I could go through how to create prompts, but that would take ages. So um, I'm just gonna I've got this pre-made one that I'm just gonna run through with you. Okay, so um, in this example, we're gonna do a beauty salon. So we always want to start with a timestamp. Okay, so it knows what time it is. Uh, just some basic information about the business, including the time zone. I'm based in London, so just make sure you change this to whatever time zone uh, you are in. Um, we've got the role, so your Brenda, friendly and professional receptionist. Um, fine. Then we've got guiding principles, so just making sure that we're sticking to the playbook and that with the the main focus is on the tools that we're going to be calling uh, for this workflow. Now, then we've got the kind of conversational playbook. So this is where we're laying out exactly what we want the agent to do step by step throughout the call. Okay, so to begin with, we've got the greeting. So just nice and simple instructions. Greet the user with your first message, wait for their response. Ask if they would like to book an appointment. Once they say yes, follow the playbook below. Uh, then we're going to basically uh, call the check availability tool. So if they agree to a consultation, uh, we're going to basically check the availability. We're going to ask them what date and time would be good for them, and then we're going to check if that's available. Uh, we're then going to present the options. So if the time they requested is not available, we're going to present three to four slots uh, that are close to that time. Uh, obviously, if it is available, then we'll just go ahead with that. Um, then we're going to gather their details, uh, first name, and then we're going to grab their phone number uh, from the back end, so we don't need to ask them that. And then uh, lastly, we're just going to call the book appointment tool, get that booked in and just kind of reply saying that your uh, booking has been successful. Okay, so that's going to be our prompt, nice and simple. Uh, we're going to leave files as is. Uh, and then here is where you can kind of configure your voice. Um, 11 Labs tends to be a good choice. I'm going to go with VAPI. Um, actually, no, let's go 11 Labs. And a voice I like to use uh, is Alexandra. Uh, conversational and real. Okay. Uh, you can play around with these settings if you want. I'm going to leave uh, leave them as they are for now. Transcriber uh, DeepGram is that tends to be the best, so I'll leave that as it is. Uh, tools we're going to uh, set up later. Um, and then for the purpose of this video, we're going to leave the other uh, settings as they are. Okay. So next, we're going to go to tools. Now, ignore these. Uh, these are for my other tutorials. So what we're going to do is create tool, custom tool. Now, we're going to first set up the check availability tool. Okay. The description actually doesn't really matter, so we can leave that. Now, for the parameters, this is basically what we are sending over to the back end on NA10. So what we're going to do, uh, you're going to download the check availability tool from my description. You're going to click on Visual Editor, and you're going to paste this in. So basically, what we're just sending for the parameters are the initial search date and time. So the target date for the availability search, um, and then this is just some formatting. Uh, we're going to change this to our time zone, which is uh, Europe and London. Make sure this is all consistent. Okay, um, fine, nice and simple. Uh, we're going to click apply and then save. Fine. 
I'm going to leave this as is for now. We'll set that up later. Um, now we need to set up the booking appointment tool. And then you're going to go ahead and download the book appointment tool from my description. Again, JSON, paste that in here. So just to run through this real quick, um, we've got, we want the client's name, we want the end time of the appointment and the start time of the appointment. Okay, that's it, nice and simple. I'm um, just gonna move this. So apply, uh, just make sure the time zones, if there are any, no, that looks good. Click save. Okay, so those are our tools set up. So next we need to make sure that our assistant has access to these tools. So you're gonna go to your assistant, click on tools, okay, and then we're gonna make sure we have these two tools selected. Okay, hit publish. Uh, so this basically just makes sure that the agent has access to the tools that we've just set up. Okay, and that should be everything set up on the VAPI side of things. Now we're gonna head over to N8N. Okay, so this is the flow we're setting up. Again, I've provided the template to this in the description, so all you need to do is go ahead and download that. You're gonna come over to N8N in a new workflow. You're gonna import from file and you're gonna select the file that you've downloaded and this should pop up. Okay, so just to walk through what's happening here. So we've got the VAPI tool uh, called Webhook. Okay, so this is how it's um, kind of getting access to what the agent uh, is doing. Got some variables, so we're just setting up uh, a few kind of definitions here that's gonna be used later in the flow. And then we're gonna route uh, by tool name. So we've got the check availability branch here and then the book appointment branch here, okay? Um, so it's basically going to determine uh, which tool to call. So if it's the check availability, it's gonna come up here. It's going to, this is basically just the code node that's going to um, basically use a bit of math to figure out how many potential slots in the calendar there are. It's going to go ahead and get these uh, available slots in the calendar. It's going to filter out for the free ones and then it's going to uh, respond back to the user based on the result. Okay, and then for the book appointment branch, uh, after we've checked availability, we've kind of confirmed the date and time, it's going to call the book appointment tool where it's going to book it in and it's going to respond to the user saying like booking was successful. Okay, um, so what we need to do now is uh, configure this. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to the web uh, hook. Okay, you can go to production URL, uh, leave this as is. Okay, this sh they should all have the right settings. You're going to copy the production URL, come back to VAPI. You're going to come to your assistant. I'm going to scroll down to... Messaging, there it is. Paste that one in here. Okay, nice and simple. Um, what we're also going to do is add an HTTP uh, header. Okay, so we're going to add the header. I'm going to come back. We're going to go to header auth. Now, I have my account set up already, but what you'll need to do if you're doing this for the first time is create a new credential. Okay, you're going to give it, you can give this any name, basically think of name and value as a username and password. Okay, so you could name this client one, for example. Um, let's actually set up a new one. So this is going to be client one. And then for our password, I'd recommend using like a 64 character password. I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just for ease. Okay, uh, you'd save that. Okay. That's fine. We're gonna head over here. This would be client one, and this is gonna be the password. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight, nine. Fine, and then publish. Okay, cool. Now, uh, something quite important is we need to come down here as well. And if we have all of these pre-selected, it's going to be calling basically uh, executing lots of different functions in NA10, which you, we want to avoid. So uh, we're gonna deselect all of this except for tool calls. Um, end of call report, that's out of the scope of this video. So we're gonna just leave it at that actually. Um, get rid of that thing there. Okay, publish. Fine, so this should be set up. 
Um, so that's the wrapping webhook set up. Okay, next are the variables. So this is basically just defining a few uh, key terms for our workflow. So the owner name, business name, um, the service type name. So we're going to change this to uh, hair appointment. Okay, time zone, make sure that's updated as well. Um, the working hours, so 9 till 5 in this example, uh, how long the meeting is going to be, uh, the booking cadence, uh, and then just a bit of a buffer before and after. Okay, so you can set that to whatever you like. Um, next is the router node. Okay, so you're going to leave this as is from the download. Okay, nice and simple. Don't need to touch anything here. Um, and then the uh, Calculate potential slots again. You're just going to leave that as is for now. Now we then need to set up the Google Calendar uh, authentication. So that's nice and simple to do. So you can just set up your account. Um, you can figure that one out. That's not too hard to be honest. Uh, and then what we're going to do is you need to change this to whatever calendar you're using for your account. So um, we're going to go from list and then I'm going to select my calendar as an example and then you're going to leave these as is. Again, the uh, this node you're going to leave as is, just a bit of code and then the uh, respond to webhook, again, you're going to leave that one as well. Okay, and then you just need to make sure that this is linked as well. So you just need to double click and make sure that your calendar is selected as well. Okay, um, fine. And then once that's saved, this should be all ready to go. Okay, so now the last thing to do is to set this as live. Um, so that should be all good to go. Um, and then we can give it a test. So let's see how this goes. Hello, this is Riley from the Silk Beauty Salon. How can I help? Hi, I wanted to uh, book an appointment, please. Great. Would you like to book a hair appointment with one of our licensed stylists? Yes, please. Excellent. Which day and time would work best for you to speak with a stylist? Uh, could you do uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m.? Great news. It looks like 9 a.m. tomorrow is available. Would you like me to book that for you? Yes, please. Great. I can book that for you. And what is your full name? Connor Smith. Okay, Connor Smith, just to confirm, I have you down for a hair appointment on Monday, October 20th at 9 a.m. Is that all correct? Yeah, that sounds good. Excellent. The appointment is confirmed, and a text message with the details has been sent. Okay. A stylist will... Thank you. Okay, so you can see that the basic functionality, so the plumbing here, uh, has worked well. So we can go to executions. Uh, we can see that the uh, this should be the check availability tool first. Yep, so that all went well. Um, and then we were able to book the appointment. Okay. Now, obviously, there's a few things that we would kind of clean up and tidy up. This is a really, really basic uh, draft. And in real life, we would probably build out uh, lots of other functions, like SMS, FAQs, uh, transferring the call, um, the list goes on, which I will cover in future videos. Uh, but this is the basic kind of setup for uh, checking uh, availability on Google Calendar and, uh, and booking the appointments in using uh, VAPI and NA10. I hope that was helpful.